Welcome back to Deep Learning. And today we want to talk about the last part of object detection and segmentation. And we want to look into the concept of instance segmentation. So let's have a look at our slides. You see this is already the last part, part five. And now we want to talk about instance segmentation. So we not just want to detect where pixels with cubes are or where pixels with cups are, but we want to really figure out which pixels belong to what cube. So this is essentially a combination of object detection and semantic segmentation. Examples for potential applications are information about occlusion, counting, the number of elements belonging to the same class, detecting object boundaries, for example, of gripping objects in robotics. This is very important. And there's examples in the literature, simultaneous detection and segmentation, deep mask, sharp mask, and mask RCNN in reference 10. So let's look at reference 10 in a little more detail. So we essentially go back to the start, we combine the object detection and the segmentation, and we use RCNN for the object detection. And the object detection essentially solves the instance separation, and then the segmentation refines the bounding boxes per instance. So the workflow is a two-stage procedure. You have the region proposal that proposes the object bounding boxes, and then you have the classification using a bounding box regression and the segmentation in parallel. So you have a multitask loss that essentially combines the pixel-wise classification loss, so the segmentation loss, the box loss, and the class loss for producing the right class per bounding box. So you have these three terms that are then combined in a multitask loss. So let's look in some more detail into the two-stage procedure. You have two different options here for two-stage networks. You can have a joint branch that is working on the ROIs and then splits at a later stage into the segmentation of the mask and the class and bounding box prediction. Or you can split early and then run that into separate networks. In both versions, you have this multitask loss that combines the pixel-wise segmentation loss, the box loss, and the class loss. Let's have a look at some examples. And these are results, again, from MASK RCNN. And you can see that, to be honest, these are quite impressive results. So there are really difficult cases. You identify where the persons are, and you also show that the different persons, of course, are different instances. So very impressive results. So let's summarize what we've seen so far. The segmentation is commonly solved by architectures analyzing the image and subsequently refining the course results. Fully convolutional networks preserve the spatial layout and enable arbitrary input sizes with pooling. We can use object detectors and implement them as a sequence of region proposals and classification. Then this leads essentially to the family of our CNN type of networks. Alternatively, you can go to single shot detectors, and we looked at YOLO, which is a very common and very fast technique, YOLO 9000. And we looked into Retina Net if you really have a scale dependency and you want to detect on many different scales, like for the example of histological slice processing. So object detection and segmentation are closely related, and combinations are common as you have seen here for the purpose of instant segmentation. 
So let's look at what we still have to talk about in this lecture. And coming up very soon is methods to relieve the burden of labeling. So we will talk about weekly annotation, how we can generate labels, which then also leads to the concept of self-supervision, which is a very popular topic right now. And it's been very heavily used in order to generate better networks in order to reuse also sparsely or even completely unlabeled data. And we will look into some of the more advanced methods. One idea that I want to show to you later is the use of known operators, how we can integrate knowledge into networks, which properties this has, and also some ideas how we could potentially make parts of networks reusable. So there's exciting things still coming up. I have some comprehensive questions for you, like what is the difference between semantic and instant segmentation? What is the connection to object detection? How can we construct a network which accepts arbitrary input sizes? What is ROI pooling? How can we perform backpropagation through an ROI pooling layer? What are typical measures for the evaluations of segmentations? Or for example, I could ask you to explain a method for instance segmentation. I have a couple of further readings in terms of links. So there is this uh, awesome website by Joseph Redmond, the creator of YOLO. And I think this is a really nice library that is called Darknet. And you can also study Joseph Redmond's CV. I have the link here. I think if you follow this kind of um, layouting, this will definitely jumpstart your career. Of course, I also have some further references. And you can see that today I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages of references. So please take your time and also look at those references. We selected really very good state-of-the-art papers, and we can definitely recommend to have a look at those references in a little more detail. So thank you very much for listening to this lecture, and I hope you liked our short excursion into more the applied fields like segmentation and object detection. I hope that this kind of turns out to be useful for you. And I also hope that we will see you very soon again in one of our next videos. So thank you very much and goodbye.